In this video, we're going to be using Barrister and Man Vespers and the Mula Roca Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. But before I get into that, I want to mention tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll put a slide up there on the screen, at Real CDB live on Instagram. We're going to be doing a big giveaway show. We're going to be joined by Mel from BBS Live, Canadian Mafia, So Sharp David. It's going to be really awesome. We have like... 26 or 27 prizes, mostly provided by the razor company, but also Alpha Shaving. Going to be giving away a carbon razor, outlaw razor, outlaw brush. It's going to be awesome. You must be there. I'll post a link below with the information on how you enter the giveaway. Essentially, you just comment on the original announcement post and show up live. And we're just going to spin and bring some happiness and joy this evening. So I hope to see you there. All right, let's get into the shave today because that's going to spread some joy as well, or at least for me, because this is a fantastic winter scent. Maybe the best winter scent that I've ever smelled, to be honest. This is Barrister and Man Vespers, and this is $19.99 for four ounces. And on a cost chart there, that's $4.99 an ounce, which is a fair price. And one of the things I like about Barrister and Man is they have kept it fair in their pricing uh, over the years. Uh, apart from an occasional special edition or some soap with a fancy um, scent oil or something, they've kept their prices very, very reasonable. And this soap, smells really really good uh some of the notes and some of them are right here you have cranberry balsam moose to sax fern uh, there's a very long description on barrister man's website and i'll link it below and you can read it but this comes together beautifully it's one of raza's favors that's one of dk's favorites and i can see why because it really is a great winter scent this is in the new uh tallow omnibus base and we'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there and i'll tell you what this is a good one, and this is only um, this will only be sold through the end of this year. So if you want it, pick it up now. And if you like winter scents, this is a really good one. And it contains one of DK's favorite um, notes, Moose de Sax, which is a newly crowned pillar of funk along with oud, patchouli, and musk. So now Moose de Sax is in, is in there as well. And there's nothing funky about this soap. It comes together beautifully. It's not really dirty either. I think the Moose de Sax actually helps it. It rounds it, and, and this overall is just a very nice scent. And once I lathered it, I liked it even more than smelling it off the tub, so keep that in mind. Today's razor is the Mule, or Mule, however you <laughs> say that, Raka or Roca. I think it's R96. This runs uh, usually around $100 to $115 on Amazon. As you can see, there are no cutouts, so it's sort of a minimalist design. Some people don't like that, but I do. I, it kind of makes it different, and this is a good shaver. It's fairly efficient, and I always enjoy using this razor. It has a feather blade inside. All right, let's get the shaving. Enough yapping, and right now I'm just misting my face with water as opposed to splashing, you know, water all over the sink and everything else. And today's brush, I always forget to tell you about the brush, is the Envy Shave 8-Ball uh, from Envy Shave. Oh, Nathan Clark. Good old Nathan. All right. We have a very nice lather here. This is a very soft soap. I thought I was going to be irritated with it, it moving around on me in the bowl, but it didn't. And there's some nice creamy goodness there. It lathered easily. And honestly, I don't think you ever expect to get a Barrister Men's Soap and have the quality be off on it because uh, they've produced great soaps for a long time. For me, in Barrister Men, it's always a matter of scent. They could produce one of the best scents you know, or something that's very pleasing like this one, or one of the worst. <laughs> so they do take risks, and sometimes those risks pay off, and sometimes for me they don't, so you never know with Barrister Man and Scents, but this one, look at that, creamy goodness. It is good quality, and the scent is really nice. About medium scent strength, I'd call it. Uh, I like this scent more now lathered than I did um, when it was off the top, and that is often the case, so... Just be careful. If something is horrible off the tub, it's probably going to be horrible even when lathered. But this one just gets better when you lather it. And so it's it's really nice. 
and the quality is right there. I don't know if you could see it in the lighting in here, but there is a nice sheen on that leather. It takes water easily. The Omnima, Omnibus, excuse me, base is quite good. Of course, what isn't these days, right? <laughs> Pretty much everything is good. It's hard to find a bad soap these days, which is a really a great thing. It's a great thing. All right, we've got our hands rinsed. And man, this smells good. It's filling the room. Probably this might be my favorite um, winter scent or one of my favorite winter scents of all time, maybe. Um, it is definitely, I think if you're into the style of scent and look at the notes, you probably like this. Um, I definitely see why um, Raza and DK, you know, like it so much. It is a, definitely a good scent. And uh, when I was initially smelling it off the top, I thought, this is very, very good, but I don't know if it's, you know, great. I think it's great. It actually smells pretty good. And Raza had sent me a sample and I was smelling it and I was like, eh, you know, I like it. I don't know if I love it, but now that it's on my face, it is very, very good. And so I say, if you're interested in this one, make sure you get it before the end of this year, because that's, um, it will only be sold through that period according to the website. So don't miss out if you're interested. And they'll, I'm sure they have plenty of it. So just between now and the new year, go grab some of it. Definitely a nice scent and I'm glad to have it. And I want to thank Lord Shady because on the day when this was released, um, I was actually driving back from Charlotte uh, to my home. And I asked Lord Shady if he could pick it up for me and I would give him the money. And then, of course, when I went to arrange to give him the money, he was like, oh, no, don't send me any money. You sent me something else just the other day. And so thank you, Lord Shady. I appreciate it. He's a, a great friend and a, also not only a great friend to me, but a great friend to the channel as well, as many of you are. And thank you so much. You see a lot of stuff on this channel. And... A lot of it is due to you all and you all really really help with the content and I appreciate you so much all right so far that first pass was just fantastic I really like the Mula Rocca or Roca razor um, I think it shaves well I think it's reasonably uh, efficient looks good um, it's got good fit and finish um, it is a mass-produced you know razor but for me it's a very good razor and I have kept it because I like it and I think I saw, um, I think Glenn Helly, the sea monster, or Old Man Helly as we call him sometimes, <laughs> you know, jokingly. I think uh, he was the one that put me on this razor, if I'm not mistaken. So go check him out, if you please. Oh man, this smells really nice. Is it in my top of 2021 list? Not, a, for, sadly, something happened, folks. Uh, and I explained this yesterday when I used the uh, Gal uh, Leuk soap from Murphy and McNeil. I had to shoot that top of 21 list before coming down here because I needed all my soaps to be able to show them. And so today is what? I don't know. It's, I'm not even sure what today is. The uh, middle of December, let's say. I had to do it early because I knew I was going to be traveling. Could something like this have made the list possibly had I used it prior to shooting that video? Maybe. This one would be definitely, um, I would say right now, at least an honorable mention, because it is a very good scent. And honestly, I, what, I wondered, based on the sample, what people were crowing over. You know, I was like, ah, it's good, but is it great? And now that I have it lathered and on my face, I'm like, yeah, I get it. Now, the Fougere Gothique that Shady and Magic Mike love so much, no. <laughs> but this one, yes. So DK and Raza. Uh, you guys are right on this one. It's great. Now, am I, am I going to buy five sets like Raza? No, no. Um, it will be back if... Uh, the way I see it is, as long as the artisans have... Uh, if they have the ingredients to make the soap and it sells well, eventually they'll bring it back again. I've seen a lot of things go away over the years at Barrister Man, supposed to not return or likely not to return, and they return. So. <laughs> That don't sleep on it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you sleep on it and get it at a later time. I'm just saying this is a very popular scent, and I don't think 2021 will be the last time we ever see it. But if you want it, get it before it goes out, because you just never know. 
But Raza, um, Raza bought five sets, <laughs> including the bomb. And I was like, holy mackerel. He is, a, he is probably the biggest Vesper fan there is, along with DK. Both of those are great guys, by the way, Raza and uh, DK. And thank you, Raza, for sending me a sample and letting me uh, smell this soap. It's got a nice, it's got a bit of sweetness to it, which I really like. For me, it's a very good balance. It's, it's a well-balanced scent overall. You get lots of different elements, but they're well-balanced. And I was surprised because honestly, when I came in here today, I was expecting to say, you know, this is a very good soap. I like the scent. Um, but once lathered, sometimes when you lather it, you just, you get a lot more from your soap. You know, having all that mixed up and getting it right near your nose. Um, your experience is sort of transformed into something more beautiful. And uh, today, I think, is one of those days. The Vespers is legit. <laughs> so, this is one of those that uh, will definitely be in my keeper list. And while I won't use it a lot, because it's, uh, you know, this is a special soap. Um, I'll use it in the winter season from time to time. Probably won't see it again until next year, but I will be glad to be using it then. And this is a very soft soap. By then, that soap will, will have firmed up a little bit. Which I tend to prefer. I tend to prefer soaps that are just on the firm side. Not hard, but just getting to the firm side. That's my perfect consistency. This one's pretty soft, but I had no problems lathering it. It didn't move on around in the bowl on me or annoy me in any way. I used a little more than I would ordinarily use just in case, but turned out it was just fine. Man, that is nice. You can definitely get to pick up the mousse de sacs in this. Um, so it's kind of hard to describe what that scent is like. You really just have to experience it for yourself. It's also in measure uh, of man, I think, which uh, a lot of people told me I would not like, and then I got it, and I didn't mind it. I wouldn't say I loved it, but I did like it, and so that was a pleasant surprise. Sometimes you just have to try things and see if you like them, because um, I was pretty sure I wouldn't like that one, and then when I tried it, I was like, hey, that's not so bad, because um, for me, that soap didn't have a real funky element to it. Funky being like a B.O. or um, offensive type of odor, which some, some soaps do have. I don't like funk, and I don't like dirty scents either. This one to me is neither funky nor um, dirty. Um, so it's got a sweetness to it. It's got some rounding. You know, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it overall sweet. It's got the balsam, um, you know, that... It's just a nice soap. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Let's do the cross pass here. And so, yeah, I have definitely enjoyed this shave today. It's really good. And this is a fantastic soap. So Raza and DK, congrats on the release of this. I hope DK, you load it up again on this one. Raza was showing you the way there with five sets. <laughs> I don't know why this thing's making so much noise. I'm going to stop. Plug that to where it doesn't make that noise. Sorry about that, folks. Nobody wants to hear that. Sounded like Glenn Helly over here with the sea monster sick. <laughs> oh, man. What a nice shave today. Again, the blade in here is a feather. This is a nice razor. I like it. Um, reasonably efficient. Probably mid-level. Feels good in the hand. The only thing I don't like about this restroom here is the water is cold. Um... Uh, I think the warm water was leaking, so they turned that off, and so things don't rinse as well in cool water. So I'll have to get that squared away. Try to get that sink to where we can get some warm water here, because uh, the razor does, definitely does not rinse as well in uh, cold water. All right, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera to do a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum, no sting. There's a super smooth shave, no nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Really nice shave. Following the alum, we did another rinse thoroughly. And then we used our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent 
shade today with the Barrister and Man Vespers. It is a very nice, unique winter scent. Maybe the best winter scent that I've ever smelled. I really like this a lot and all the accolades that it's getting. I think it's worth the, I think it's worthy. I should say it's really, really good. So make sure if you want this, you pick it up before the end of this year. The Mula Roca or Roca, you guys tell me how to pronounce that because I don't know. Really, really a nice razor. Sort of a, a minimalist design, but it works very well. It's nice and efficient and you can get it on Amazon. It's uh, widely available, so I like that a lot. I use the Envy Shave 8 Ball brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, Lancaster towel back there. I don't know if I mentioned that one or not. HCNC bow, which is still a good bit of lather in. And we are going to finish it out today with the Barrister and Man Vespers Splash. And I expect this will be a very nice experience. And I hope, oh, drop the cat. <laughs> I hope wherever you are today that you have an excellent experience in your shave and your day. Wishing you many blessings. Oh yeah, that is nice. Ah oh, yeah. But what a scent. This is really a great one, folks. Again, pick it up before the end of the year if you want. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you tonight for the giveaway. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.